All right, it's time to create with Quimby, our DIY guru, Shannon Quimby, wanting to bring some fall spirit into your home with a different kind of pumpkin. Yeah, how cute is this craft? Check out some rustic man-made gourds from <laughs> Wooden Blocks, the perfect addition to any fall home decor and the perfect thing to do with all those little pieces of wood from your other projects that you just don't know what to do with. Shannon joins us live right now to walk us through how she made these adorable pumpkins. Hey, Shannon. Good morning, you guys. I like how you said man-made gourds. Yes, yeah. they are. <laughs> man-made gourds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which means they're not going to like shrink and shrivel and yeah, they're know, not going to rot on your front porch. You can put yeah. these out in September. They're good through November. You don't have to worry about it. Exactly. Yeah. So, and also, like you said, we can just, you know, it's leftover scrap wood laying around. And um, that's what I love about the project is we're reusing stuff that's, you know, could usually be tossed away. So the first thing you want to do is, you know, it cut up some small pieces. These are just basically one by four scrap wood that I have. And usually um, you can do little pieces like three inches, four inches, five inches, and then sand the edges because you don't want to get splinters, okay? Mm -hmm. Very important. And then I just went to the craft store and I just picked out some of my favorite fall colors. I just got these little 99 centers here, you know, this acrylic paint, but you can also use what any paint that you've got lying around that you feel is fall color sure. and right and really easy right this is travis proof ah once again <laughs> travis proof <laughs> and that's how you know yeah. that's how, if i can approve it that's, that's, that's how, you how you know, know anybody good. can do it <laughs> that's right that's right so um and you just basically paint the whole block you know front back side up and down you know, and you don't, you can use one coat, you can use two coats, it's up to you. I like to do one coat and let the grain show through and then you let it dry. Okay. okay? Easy peasy. Now, we want to add a little pizzazz to it. Um, so what I've done is I've added different stripes, different colors, you know, mix it up a bit. Um, I'll use like, say, I'm going to go with the white here. Now, if you want, if you want a nice little straight edge, you can put some tape, you know, some masking tape mm -hmm. to get a straight edge. I kind of like the organic feel because, right, we're talking pumpkins. Yeah, and so, Right? And, and so it, they do feel, you know, that they are, you know, handmade. Um, they're not perfect. You know, they've got some crinkles. They've got some dents, you know, it adds a little character. So, and, you know, you just splash a little bit. That's the beauty about this project is it uh, brings out your creativity. Everyone that I've done this before, they usually add like different patterns onto their blocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. So cute. Yeah, I like it. You can do some color block or a little chevron, whatever your, you know, whatever your vibe is. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So here's one, that, here's one that's dry. Cute. Uh -huh. And then the next step is you just want to um, screw a, a hole in the top. So you just take a drill bit like so. You can in the center. Now you don't even have to do it in the center. You can do it off to the side. And then I just go out in the yard and I clip some little twigs. A lot of these, you know, they're on the ground. If you go on a little nature walk uh -huh. and you just take your glue gun, you drop a little bit of glue in there and you put it in that. And voila. Oh, perfect. It is. It's and like we the, have a man -made it's the perfect board. little stem. That's what kind of really gives it that pumpkin vibe. It is. And of course, if you want to wrap it up as a gift, you can take some twine and you can wrap, you know, wrap it around the pumpkin. You can decorate your pumpkin. Um, the fun thing also about this is a lot of times I'll just do the stripes and patterns on one side and then you can flip them around like so and you can mix and match. So then I'll I put the twine nice. Right? So it kind of changes it up. You can mix and match. You can decorate your mantle. You know, it's a lot of fun, you guys, and it's so easy. And it's basically, you know, if you use leftover paint and scrap wood, it's free. Right. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, this is not an expensive DIY at all. No, I love and that. especially like you, no. you both have said, if you've been doing other DIY projects, you have the wood left over, some paint left over, you, you know, twine, sticks out in the yard, or, you know, out, out, yeah. out, out on a walk. That's e great. Easy to put together. Hey, you're going to be making these uh, pumpkins at some of your upcoming uh, craft classes. Tell us about it. I know. Yeah, I'm really fired up. I'm working with Par Lumber, and uh, we literally are. We're making these pumpkins and the rope shelf, which was a real popular DIY that we did here on Coin. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to be in Bend on the 18th, and then also West Lynn on the 20th. You guys, it's free. 
You just go on uh, uh, Par Lumber's Facebook page. You can sign up. Everything's free. You know, these are fun gifts that you can give for yourself. You can give them for, you know, friends, family, you know. I mean, holiday shopping's already started. Yeah, right? we were talking about that earlier. It's hard, hard to it. imagine, but it, it mm -hmm. is true. Holiday shopping has already begun. Shannon, always great to see you. Thanks again for sharing another great DIY project with us. And uh, have a great day and enjoy those man-made gourds. I'm yes. sure many people will be happy to have that <laughs> and the rope shelf with the classes. Happy fall. All right. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. And for the full list of materials and instructions, we're, of course, going to post that on coin.com. Also, be sure to follow Shannon on Facebook for more DIY projects and how to sign up for those classes. I forgot about that.